So we're here at uh, Atlas Manufacturing in uh, British Columbia, Canada. We make the uh, Atlas casing hammers, uh, Atlas casing jacks, hydraulic power packs and such. Today uh, we're going to get uh, Dave, our uh, shop foreman and head uh, hammer builder, to show us uh, how to change out the uh, bottom seal in uh, one of our casing hammers. We have a, an R2000 here that uh, we've just done a rebuild on it. So uh, I'll let uh, Dave take it away here. So we've already removed the top wear ring and the top seal cover and top seal. Now we're going to remove the center tube retaining rings. And those come out easy obviously because we just put this hammer together in the field uh, a little bit of work to get them out maybe Dave? Uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, but they sometimes do come out a little bit. Okay. Now we're putting the center tube lifting device. Can you just show that to me Dave? That's, uh, that's Dave's uh, little invention and it's for lifting the center tube out. Uh, when you buy a new hammer you get uh, a lifting uh, center tube lifting bale. Uh, if not, uh, you can get them through uh, us here at the office or uh, through any of our parts distributors. six inches off the deck of the hammer okay. and we're going to block it with uh, wooden blocks. Okay, I'll let you get set up and then I'll start the film again. Okay, Dave? Okay, we've hooked up a hydraulic power pack. We're going to raise the ram with it and it's not quite powerful enough so I'm going to have to use a board and give it a little additional power. Okay. Okay, so what you've done is you've put these blocks in there, is that right? That's correct, and now the ram is settled back down on the blocks, so that the blocks are supporting the ram. Okay, now for guys in the field or in their shop uh, raising the ram, uh, what would you, s do you have any suggestions or anything? Uh, about that distance, about six inches is adequate. Okay. Now, we're going to raise the center tube so that to expose the bottom seal. And there's the bottom seal. Now, I'm just going to remove that and I'll remove it. So, we're going to re replace the bottom seal here. Just slides right off? Slides right off. Okay. So, let's pretend that that's a, an old seal that I've removed and now we're going to install a new one. So, we take some LPS heavy duty silicone lubricant. Yeah. And we will spray the bottom of the center tube, the inside of the ram, or the inside of the the anvil, okay. and we'll spray the seal as well. Okay. And we'll install that on the bottom of the center tube. Just, now, just what pops right on there, eh? Pops right on. Okay. Now what we're going to do is lower the center tube so the lift of the seal just contacts the anvil. Okay. And sometimes the center tube hangs up a little bit. Oops, we want to go down. Now, having contacted the anvil, I'm going to take a blunt instrument and poke the center tube into the anvil. Okay. So you got like a pry bar. So you got your pry bar there, Dave? That's a pry bar. The end has been kind of softened up. Okay. Just tuck it in, sort of. Just tuck it in. Tuck your seal in. You got to go all the way around? You got to go all the way around. Okay. And yeah, once that's done, the seal and center tube should drop right into the anvil. And it 
it just it bottoms out now, like you just let it all the way down. Well, no, I let it down to the the retaining ring grooves on the top of the center piece. Right, 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 right. And uh, now we're going to install the center piece retaining rings. Okay. First four bolts in at nine o'clock, twelve o'clock, one o'clock, and three o'clock. Okay. And we park them down to 115 foot pounds with blue Loctite. Okay, with blue Loctite. Gotcha. And you just use uh, your uh, air tool. Next, the top seal and top seal cover go in place, and then finally the top wear ring. Okay, we'll uh, film that later, but uh, there you go. That's installing the uh, bottom seal in a uh, Atlas. Uh, in this case, it's a uh, R2000 uh, casing hammer. Uh, if you have any questions or you need any parts, uh, give us a call here at the shop. 2503375030, or we can. Uh, be reached at uh, www.casinghammer.com. Thanks. And oh, one more comment. <laughs> we lower the ram. It's just the reverse of how we raise it and put it on the box. We just remove the box and allow it to settle down to the base. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks, Dave. We're uh, back here at uh, Atlas Manufacturing in uh, British Columbia, uh, Canada. We. Uh, manufacture our patented uh, hydraulic casing hammers, casing jacks, hydraulic power packs, and uh, we're here uh, with uh, our shop foreman again and uh, head hammer assembler, and he's going to show us um, how to put the uh, top seal in, top wear ring in, and uh, Atlas hammer. Okay, Dave? Okay, we thought take the top seal. This one is a four and a half inch, and we put it in the top seal cover. It's just a little bit of persuasion. goes right onto the top of the hammer. Okay, go ahead there, Dave. Now it sits a little proud at that little gap that gets sucked down, does it? That's, uh, yeah, that gets sucked down when the bolts are torqued down. Okay. Just the result of the thickness of the seal. Torque that down after Dave? Yes, let's torque to 115 foot pounds. Okay. Next, the top wear ring goes in. This one is a four and a half inch top wear ring. Just drops right. 
right in there, line the holes up. That's 115 pounds again, Dave. It is. And uh, no Loctite or Never Seize? Um, you could use whatever your, your preference is. You could use either Never Seize or Blue Loctite. Okay. And that's uh, putting the uh, top seal in and the uh, top wear ring on an Atlas uh, R2000 hammer. This is one we've just uh, rebuilt here at the shop. Um, we encourage you to use uh, genuine Atlas. Uh, Parts. Uh, we've taken a lot of time uh, in developing our parts, uh, testing our parts. Uh, they are made out of uh, sometimes a special alloy, heat treated, whatnot. Uh, our top seals. Um, it's our own. Uh, it's our own formula. And you can get the parts uh, by contacting Atlas's main uh, shop at 250-337-5030. Or our website is www.casinghammer.com. Uh, we do have two uh, U.S. Uh, parts uh, distributors in uh, the U.S. Uh, PQ Products, which is in uh, Washington State in Spokane, and uh, Nest Equipment Repair, which is in Wasu, uh, Wisconsin. Their phone numbers are on our website. Uh, thanks for looking.